So this session, I'm going to show you how to set up Google Voice um, for your uh, for your phone. So so here's the thing about Google Voice. Google Voice allows you to basically set up a phone number that is not yours, but you can use it. Um, you can have it and use it from your cell phone or you can call from a web browser from that phone number. Um, so that way you don't have to give parents um, your personal cell phone number or your personal telephone number. You can give them uh, your Google Voice number and it'll still, if you put the app on your phone and, and sign into the account, it'll ring through the app. Or if you access the, um, Google Voice from the web browser, which I'm going to show you. You can you can dial and make phone calls that way too, and it'll show up on the other end as just being whatever the phone number is from the city. It's and so it's not your personal phone number. Okay, and here's the other um, this, here's the other disclaimer about Google Voice. Um, you have to set it up on a private Google account. Um, it will not work on a TPS 501 account because uh, the version of Google Voice that we, that Google gives us through the EDU domain is a premium feature or it's a premium version that has a lot more bells and whistles and that's, and that's something that we don't pay for. Um, it's kind of part of the paid package that Google offers and it's not part of the free package that we have. So if you're going to use this, you need to set it up on a, on a private uh, Google account. So that's, I'm going to show you um, what it looks like on my private Google account uh, because that's where I set it up. Cause I set up a Google voice number uh, for basically a new office number. So people can, can call me and get a hold of me since I'm not going to be in my office for a while. So to do this, uh, when you are in your account, you would go to voice.google.com. And then uh, what you have to do is the very first time you do this is you uh, search by city or, or area code. And for some reason, when I come in here, it won't let me search by Topeka for some reason. So um, it, it gives me some, some cities. I'm just going to click um, Baser. Um, in some cities, it gives you more phone numbers to choose from. So like Linwood, but that's a 913 number. Um, so if you want a closer a 785 number, um, you can do that. You can also skip it. Um, but, uh, but I don't have a number associated with this account yet. Um, so you have to choose a city and then pick the number. And so this is, this is actually my Google voice number right here. And so this is what it looks like on when you have it all set up. Um, you, you, like I said, you can dial a phone number from in here and you can, um, make, make calls through your computer, um, if I come over here to the three dots, no, sorry, not the not the three lines. Over here on the on the settings, the settings gear. I can change the number right here. I can also copy it and put it in an email. Um, I have it tied to my to the web through my account. I also have it tied to my phone number. I downloaded the Google Voice app from the, I have a Pixel, so I downloaded it from the Google Play Store. It's also on the Apple App Store. And you sign in with your private Google account when you go to set that up. Um, under messages, um, I don't have my, my messages forwarded to my phone. I do have them, however, forwarded to my email. Um, that way I'm not getting more notifications on my phone. 
and a lot of these, these are pretty self-explanatory as far as um, settings. A lot of these you're not going to want to change. You can have the number uh, forwarded just directly to your phone if you wanted to. I prefer to use the app. That way I know when um, a phone number coming in is using my Google Voice number and not a personal, not using my personal phone number. You can also make phone calls through the app on your, on your phone as well. Uh, you can also set up voicemail greetings. So that does give you just a default voicemail. The Google subscriber you have called is not available. Please leave a message after the tone. You can record your own greeting. Uh, you can get voicemails and I'll show you uh, where you can check those on the web and it does transcribe uh, the email, which is kind of nice. Um, and then you have some security and some other things. So those are the settings in Google Voice. And then, um, so on the, on the email, or sorry, the voicemails, um, so the voicemail button is here. And so this is the very first voicemail I got when I set up the account from Google. And if I click the play button at the bottom. Welcome to Google Voice. Google Voice gives you a single phone number that rings all of your phones. So you can listen to the voicemail. It also does, it tr tries to transcribe it as best you can. Um, you can also send text messages through this number. So these are text messages. Um, that I've either sent or received and you can send them either from the app or you can send them from the web um, if you wanted to do that as well. And yeah, this whole thing is free. Um, it's really nice. Um, like I said, because you don't have to give out your personal, your personal cell phone number um, to parents if you don't want to. Um, what other questions do you have? Because that's pretty much that's pretty much it on getting it set up. The big thing on getting it set up is you you basically you pick the phone number you want to use. You put in your cell phone number. They're going to email or text you a code that you put in on the web, and then that way that's how your number is associated. Your voice your Google voice number is associated with your um, phone number, your personal phone number. How do you start your own Google account? Uh, what you do is you would go to, let me uh, open up a window I'm not logged into. If you just go to google.com and if you click the blue sign in button, if you don't have an account, there's a create account button right here. And then um, you just go through the process of putting in your name, picking a username, and then um, a password and go through that process. And then you have a, then you have a, a Gmail, you have a Google account, a private Google account. Um, let's see here. There's some looking at the questions in the, uh, oh, so you you did put in Topeka, but it didn't have anything until you pressed enter. Well, that's good to know. Um, and Josh, looks like you typed in 785 and got some numbers. Um, no, the person receiving the phone call, it shows up on the caller ID as the phone number. So like for mine, it shows up as the 913 number and then the city. It does not show the email address at all. Um, we don't use this with our school accounts because the version of Google Voice that we have with our school accounts um, is a premium version that we have to pay for. And so we don't have, we really don't have access to it through our school account because of that. You can't, I haven't been able to find a way to do a conference call or a three-way call. 
uh, with it. Um, yeah, I've got a person, I've got a private Gmail account that is, that is really, I, um, just use for school purposes. I share some stuff from my, um, my school account to that other account. And, um, I would just, if, if you're just, I would just set up a Google, a Google account just for a Google voice number. And that way you're, you're, you're keeping things separate. Um, yeah, some people had one set up through the through their school account a few years ago, and they're lucky enough to still be able to use it. Um, I can't. I can log in to the account and I can see the pin pad, but um, it won't let me make a phone. It won't let me make a call because I don't have my phone number tied to that Google voice number. But I've been told by a couple people that they have been able to use their account because they did set it up a few years ago before they Google uh, switched up to the premium feature. Uh, blocking people through uh, Google, Google Voice. If you come over here and um, if I click on Let's see, if I go to voicemail and I don't want, I'll click on this one, I got a phone call. If I click the three dots here, I can block that number um, right there. I can also download this. Um, it'll download as an MP3 and I can delete that voicemail also. But you can also block numbers uh, from when they called. If I click on that, the three dots, you can block the number right there. Um, indicate personal use. If you're setting up a regular account, indicate that it's for personal use uh, for Google Voice. Because if it's if you indicate business in Google Voice, they're going to want to charge you money for that. Um, do I want to use Google Voice number one calling from the devices? Um, so that's an option that I get. So when I make a phone call from my phone, I have the option to use the, my carrier phone, which is my regular e phone number or the Google voice phone number. It depends who you're calling. If you're calling a parent, you're probably going to want to use your Google voice number. If you're calling your principal, you're probably want to going to use your personal number. Um, because whichever number you decide to use, that's the number that shows up on the caller ID on the other, on the other end. Um, I don't know about long distance calls because I haven't, I don't know that I've made any long distance calls on Google voice. Um, I used it when I was in the classroom several years ago, I used it. Um, I used it for parent communication from my cell phone and they, they were all, um, local numbers. Um, you can't make conference calls with this, no. Um, yeah, I would give this number to students and parents only. That's kind of why we're setting it up. It's kind of a um, an alias phone number, I guess, for lack of a better term. That way you're not giving out your personal phone number to, um, to parents and to students. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it'll allow you to select the number that you want to talk to. All right, are there any other? So the last question here is how do you decide which number to use? I kind of explained that before. If I'm dialing a parent number, um, I'll definitely want to use the Google Voice number because that's the number that shows up on their caller ID. Um, but if I'm calling a colleague or my principal, um, somebody that may already have my personal phone number, then I'll just use my, the carrier phone number uh, for that. Um, no, you can't record. It only records the voice messages. You can't record phone calls. Um, 
can you delete the yeah uh if you want to delete the number you go into the settings and there's a way to remove right here at the top voice you hit delete and that will delete that number um google voice it asks to allow um, allow access to your contacts that's up to you if um it's just gonna when you start searching for uh, or start typing in a phone number it will try to um, basically autofill those phone numbers in for you um, if you're just going to use it for for parents I wouldn't necessarily attack have it access my contacts um, 